In a world where every thought, every moment, every secret is broadcast to the masses, there lies an ancient wisdom that urges us to keep certain aspects of our lives private. This wisdom, rooted in the philosophy of Stoicism, teaches us the importance of inner strength, self-control and the mastery of our emotions. To truly embrace this path, there are ten things we should always keep private. Let us explore these together as we strive to become true Stoics. Number 1. Your Inner Struggles Our battles with fear, doubt and inner turmoil are deeply personal. These struggles shape who we are and help us grow stronger. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, reminds us the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This means that the challenges we face actually help us move forward and grow. When we keep our inner struggles private, we give ourselves the space to deal with them on our own terms. This is important because seeking external validation or sympathy can sometimes weaken our resolve. Instead of looking to others for approval or comfort, we focus on finding our own strength and solutions. This helps us build self-reliance and resilience. Facing our struggles privately allows us to develop a deeper understanding of ourselves. We can reflect on our fears and doubts without the influence of others' opinions. This introspection is a key part of Stoic philosophy. By looking inward, we can find the root causes of our problems and work towards overcoming them. Keeping our struggles private does not mean we should isolate ourselves completely. It is important to have trusted friends and mentors who can offer support and guidance when needed. However, we should be selective about what we share and with whom. Not everyone needs to know about our inner battles. By being mindful of this, we protect our emotional well-being and maintain our focus on personal growth. Stoicism teaches us that suffering is a part of life, but it is also an opportunity for growth. When we encounter obstacles, we have a choice we can let them defeat us, or we can use them as stepping stones to become stronger. By keeping our struggles private, we can turn our challenges into opportunities for self-improvement. One of the core principles of Stoicism is the idea of focusing on what we can control and accepting what we cannot. Our inner struggles often involve things that are beyond our control, such as the actions of others or external events. By keeping our focus on our own responses and actions, we can maintain a sense of control and peace. This approach helps us stay grounded and resilient, even in the face of adversity. Another benefit of keeping our struggles private is that it allows us to develop a sense of inner calm. When we are not constantly seeking external validation, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and confidence. This calmness enables us to approach our problems with a clear mind and a steady heart. We become more capable of handling stress and uncertainty because we trust in our own abilities. Number two, your generosity. True generosity does not seek applause. Seneca, a revered Stoic philosopher, said the reward of a good deed is in having done it. This means that the true value of kindness lies in the act itself, not in the recognition it might bring. Acts of kindness and charity should be done quietly, without the need for praise. This helps us develop a genuine spirit of altruism and keeps our motives pure. When we give without expecting anything in return, we cultivate a sense of inner satisfaction. The joy of giving comes from knowing that we have made a positive impact on someone else's life. This quiet form of generosity aligns with the stoic principle of focusing on our own actions and not on the opinions of others. Keeping our acts of kindness private allows us to focus on the needs of others rather than on how we might be perceived. It helps us avoid the trap of performing good deeds for the sake of admiration or social approval. Instead, we give because it is the right thing to do and because it aligns with our values. Seneca's wisdom reminds us that the true measure of generosity is found in the act itself, not in the accolades it might bring. By practicing quiet generosity, we ensure that our actions are driven by compassion and empathy rather than by a desire for recognition. This fosters a more sincere and meaningful connection with those we help. 
Furthermore, private generosity helps us maintain humility. When we give without seeking recognition, we stay grounded and focused on what truly matters. We are reminded that our worth is not determined by the praise of others, but by the integrity of our actions. This humility strengthens our character and deepens our sense of purpose. Practicing private generosity also has a ripple effect. When we help others quietly, we set an example of selfless giving that can inspire others to do the same. Our actions speak louder than words, showing that true kindness does not need an audience. This can create a culture of genuine altruism and compassion in our communities. Additionally, keeping our generosity private protects us from the pitfalls of pride and vanity. Public recognition can sometimes lead to a sense of superiority or entitlement. By giving quietly, we remain humble and focused on the needs of others rather than on our own ego. This helps us stay true to the core values of Stoicism, wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. Number three, your personal goals. Our aspirations and ambitions are deeply personal and should be treated with care. Sharing them too soon can leave us vulnerable to criticism and doubt. Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, wisely advised first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. This means that we should first clarify our goals to ourselves before sharing them with others. Keeping our goals private allows us to protect them from external influences. When we share our aspirations with others, we open ourselves up to their opinions and judgments. This can sometimes lead to self-doubt or discouragement, especially if others don't understand or support our goals. By keeping our goals private, we can maintain our focus and determination without being swayed by outside forces. Furthermore, keeping our goals private allows us to work on them without the pressure of expectations. When we share our goals with others, we may feel obligated to meet their expectations or prove ourselves to them. This can create unnecessary stress and distract us from our true objectives. By keeping our goals private, we can work on them at our own pace and in our own way, free from external pressures. Epictetus' advice reminds us of the importance of self-reflection and self-determination. Before we can pursue our goals, we must first understand what we truly want and who we want to be. This requires honest introspection and clarity of purpose. By keeping our goals private, we give ourselves the space and freedom to explore our aspirations without interference. Moreover, keeping our goals private can actually increase our chances of success. When we share our goals with others, we may experience a sense of satisfaction or validation before we have even achieved them. This can reduce our motivation to actually follow through and accomplish our goals. By keeping our goals private, we can maintain a sense of urgency and drive, knowing that our success will be a result of our own efforts. Number four, your family matters. Family dynamics are intricate and can be filled with intense emotions. Keeping these matters private is essential to preserving the sanctity of our relationships. As Seneca wisely noted, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By safeguarding our family's privacy, we can prevent unnecessary drama and maintain harmony within our personal lives. When we keep family matters private, we show respect for the intimacy and trust within our relationships. Sharing private family affairs with others can lead to misunderstandings, gossip and unwanted interference. By keeping these matters within the family circle, we honor the bonds of trust and maintain a sense of dignity. Furthermore, addressing family issues privately allows us to handle them with care and discretion. When problems arise, open communication within the family can foster understanding and resolution. By keeping these discussions private, we protect the feelings and reputations of those involved and prevent unnecessary conflict or embarrassment. Protecting our family's privacy also helps to maintain a sense of security and stability within the household. Family members need to feel safe and supported in order to thrive. By keeping family matters private, we create a space where everyone can express themselves freely without fear of judgment or outside scrutiny.
Moreover, keeping family matters private can prevent unnecessary stress and anxiety. When we share our family's struggles with others, we invite their opinions and judgments, which can add to our burden. By keeping these matters private, we avoid the pressure to conform to others' expectations and can focus on finding solutions that work for our family. Number five, your financial situation. In wealth and poverty are temporary conditions that should not determine our worth as individuals. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This timeless wisdom reminds us that true wealth is found not in the abundance of possessions, but in the simplicity of our desires. By keeping our financial matters private, we free ourselves from the pressures of societal expectations and judgments. In today's world, there is often a temptation to measure success and happiness by material wealth. However, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what truly matters, cultivating contentment and gratitude. When we keep our financial situation private, we are able to cultivate contentment by appreciating what we have rather than longing for what we do not. Instead of constantly comparing ourselves to others and striving for more possessions, we learn to find fulfillment in the present moment. This shift in perspective allows us to live more authentically and joyfully, regardless of our monetary status. Moreover, keeping our financial matters private protects us from the negative effects of societal pressure and judgment. In today's hyper-connected world, there is often a tendency to equate wealth with success and happiness. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy and unworthiness for those who do not meet society's standards of financial success. By keeping our financial situation private, we shield ourselves from these external pressures and are able to focus on our own values and priorities. Furthermore, keeping our financial matters private allows us to maintain a sense of dignity and autonomy. In a culture that often equates financial success with personal worth, it can be easy to feel ashamed or inferior if we do not meet society's expectations. By keeping our financial situation private, we protect ourselves from these feelings of shame and preserve our sense of self-worth. We are able to define success on our own terms and live in accordance with our own values, rather than seeking validation from others. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. Our financial situation is often influenced by external factors such as economic conditions and market fluctuations. By keeping our financial matters private, we are able to focus on managing our finances in a responsible and prudent manner without being swayed by external pressures or judgments. Number 6. Your personal beliefs. Our spiritual and philosophical beliefs are deeply personal and shape the essence of who we are. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wrote, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Our beliefs color our perception of the world and guide our actions. However, sharing our beliefs indiscriminately can sometimes lead to conflict and misunderstanding. Keeping our personal beliefs private allows us to nurture our inner peace and authenticity. In a world where opinions are often polarized and debates can quickly turn heated, maintaining a sense of privacy around our beliefs can protect us from unnecessary strife. By refraining from sharing our beliefs with everyone we encounter, we create a space where we can explore and deepen our understanding without fear of judgment or confrontation. Furthermore, keeping our beliefs private allows our actions to speak louder than words. Instead of preaching our beliefs to others, we demonstrate them through our behavior and interactions with the world. This aligns with the Stoic principle of living virtuously and leading by example. By embodying our beliefs in our daily lives, we inspire others to do the same and foster a culture of compassion and understanding. Moreover, keeping our beliefs private can help us avoid the pitfalls of dogmatism and close-mindedness. When we hold our beliefs too rigidly and insist on imposing them on others, we risk alienating those who do not share our perspective. By keeping an open mind and respecting the diversity of beliefs around us, we create space for meaningful dialogue and mutual respect. It is also important to recognize that our beliefs are constantly evolving and may not be fully formed or understood. 
By keeping them private, we allow ourselves the freedom to explore and question without feeling pressured to conform to a particular ideology or doctrine. This fosters intellectual curiosity and personal growth as we remain open to new ideas and perspectives. Furthermore, keeping our beliefs private can protect us from external influences that seek to manipulate or exploit our convictions for their own gain. In today's digital age, where information is readily accessible and opinions are often shaped by external forces, maintaining a sense of privacy around our beliefs can help us preserve our autonomy and integrity. Number 7. Your Moments of Weakness Admitting our vulnerabilities to ourselves is a crucial step towards personal growth and self-awareness. Seneca, a wise Stoic philosopher, taught, most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. This means that true strength comes from mastering our own emotions and weaknesses. However, broadcasting our moments of weakness to the world can undermine our inner strength and resilience. Keeping our moments of weakness private allows us to fortify our inner resilience. When we share our vulnerabilities with others, we open ourselves up to external judgment and scrutiny. This can lead to feelings of shame or inadequacy, which can further weaken our resolve. By keeping our struggles private, we protect ourselves from unnecessary criticism and maintain a sense of dignity and self-respect. Furthermore, keeping our moments of weakness private allows us to focus on overcoming our limitations without the weight of external judgment. When we share our struggles with others, we may feel pressure to appear strong and capable, even when we are struggling internally. This can create a cycle of denial and self-doubt, preventing us from fully addressing our issues and finding effective solutions. By keeping our moments of weakness private, we create a safe space where we can be honest with ourselves and others. This allows us to confront our vulnerabilities with courage and compassion, rather than shame or judgment. It also fosters a sense of trust and intimacy in our relationships as we are able to share our struggles with those who truly care about us and support us unconditionally. Moreover, keeping our moments of weakness private can prevent unnecessary drama and conflict in our personal and professional lives. When we share our struggles with others, we risk burdening them with our problems and creating tension in our relationships. By keeping our struggles private, we take responsibility for our own emotions and actions and avoid placing undue pressure on others to fix our problems. In addition, keeping our moments of weakness private allows us to maintain a sense of control over our own narrative. When we share our struggles with others, we give them power over our story and how it is perceived. By keeping our struggles private, we retain ownership of our experiences and can choose when and how to share them with others. Number 8. Intellectual Curiosity For those who cherish their own company, solitude becomes a sanctuary for intellectual exploration. The time spent alone fuels their intellectual curiosity, propelling them on a journey of continuous learning and growth. Much like the Stoics of ancient times who emphasized the importance of lifelong learning, these individuals embrace the pursuit of wisdom and understanding as a fundamental aspect of their lives. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this ethos with his famous words, as long as you live, keep learning how to live this timeless wisdom underscores the value of intellectual curiosity in enriching our lives and expanding our minds. By remaining open to new ideas and experiences, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The relentless pursuit of knowledge is not merely a means to an end, but a lifelong endeavor that brings richness and depth to our existence. Through reading, reflection and introspection, we gain insights that shape our perspectives and inform our actions. Each new discovery becomes a stepping stone towards personal growth and self-improvement. Moreover, intellectual curiosity sharpens our minds, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and insight. By engaging in intellectual pursuits, we exercise our cognitive faculties and enhance our problem-solving abilities. This mental agility enables us to adapt to changing circumstances and approach obstacles with creativity and resourcefulness. 
In a world that is constantly evolving, intellectual curiosity serves as a guiding light, illuminating new pathways and possibilities. It encourages us to question conventional wisdom, challenge preconceived notions, and explore uncharted territories. By embracing curiosity as a way of life, we open ourselves up to a world of endless discovery and innovation. Furthermore, intellectual curiosity fosters a sense of wonder and awe towards the mysteries of the universe. Whether we are contemplating the complexities of science, delving into the nuances of art, or pondering the mysteries of existence, curiosity ignites a passion for exploration and discovery. It reminds us of the boundless potential of the human mind and the infinite wonders that await those who dare to seek. Number 9. Detachment from Materialism In the solitude they seek, there blooms a profound detachment from the allure of material possessions. Embracing solitude often leads to a shift in perspective, where the pursuit of inner peace and contentment takes precedence over the accumulation of external wealth. This transition reflects a core tenet of Stoic philosophy true happiness is found within, not in the acquisition of worldly goods. Socrates, an influential precursor to Stoic thought, warned, he who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. These words resonate deeply with those who embrace solitude, for they understand that true contentment cannot be found in the endless pursuit of material possessions. Instead, it lies in cultivating a sense of inner richness and fulfillment that transcends the material realm. Detachment from materialism does not mean renouncing all worldly possessions, but rather recognizing their transient nature and refraining from placing undue importance on them. Those who embrace solitude understand that material wealth alone cannot provide lasting happiness or fulfillment. Instead, they seek to cultivate inner virtues such as gratitude, compassion and resilience, which bring a deeper and more enduring sense of contentment. In a world that often equates success and happiness with material wealth, embracing solitude offers a refreshing alternative. It allows individuals to break free from the cycle of consumerism and find fulfillment in simpler, more meaningful pursuits. Whether it be spending time in nature, nurturing relationships with loved ones or pursuing creative passions, they discover that true richness lies in experiences and connections, not in possessions. Moreover, detachment from materialism fosters a sense of freedom and liberation. When one is no longer driven by the desire for material wealth, they are free to live authentically and pursue their passions without being shackled by societal expectations or financial concerns. This freedom empowers individuals to live in alignment with their values and priorities rather than being dictated by external forces. Detachment from materialism also fosters a greater sense of gratitude for what one already has. Instead of constantly striving for more, those who embrace solitude learn to appreciate the abundance that surrounds them in the present moment. They find joy in simple pleasures and cultivate a mindset of abundance, recognizing that true wealth lies not in the accumulation of possessions, but in the richness of their experiences and relationships. 10. Fortitude in Facing Mortality In the quiet depths of solitude, a profound acceptance of mortality takes root. Those who cherish their own company come to understand the fleeting nature of life and embrace it with courage and fortitude. Drawing from the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, they reflect on the practice of memento mori, a solemn reminder of their own mortality. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wrote you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think these words serve as a poignant reminder that life is fragile and transient, urging us to live each moment with purpose and intention. For those who value solitude, this awareness of life's impermanence becomes a guiding principle, imbuing their actions with urgency and meaning. Facing mortality requires a deep inner strength and resilience. It means confronting the inevitability of death with courage and acceptance, rather than succumbing to fear or despair. In solitude, individuals have the space and time to contemplate their own mortality without distraction, allowing them to come to terms with the reality of their existence.
Moreover, acceptance of mortality brings a heightened appreciation for the preciousness of life. When one acknowledges the inevitability of death, every moment becomes more meaningful and significant. Each experience, whether joyful or sorrowful, takes on a deeper resonance, reminding us of the fleeting nature of our existence. Embracing mortality also fosters a sense of liberation and freedom. When one accepts the inevitability of death, they are freed from the fear of the unknown and the anxiety of what lies beyond. This acceptance allows them to live more fully in the present moment, unencumbered by worries about the future or regrets about the past. Furthermore, facing mortality encourages individuals to prioritize what truly matters in life. When one recognizes that their time on earth is limited, they are motivated to focus on the things that bring them fulfillment and happiness. This may involve nurturing relationships with loved ones, pursuing meaningful passions or making a positive impact on the world around them. Conclusion the path to becoming a true Stoic is one of inner mastery and quiet strength. By keeping these seven aspects of our lives private, we cultivate self-control, fortitude and wisdom. Let us journey inward together, embracing the Stoic principles that will lead us to a life of tranquility and purpose. In the silence of our hearts we find the true essence of our strength and the unwavering tranquility of a well-lived life.